When people ask why I believe in creation, I always go back to something that Darwin himself said in Origin of the Species, Chapter 6. He admitted that if any organ, like an eye, lungs, brain, can't be built through numerous successive slight modifications, then his whole theory breaks down. Well, we would come to find out just how complex and interdependent these systems really are. There's a concept called irreducible complexity, and it means that a system only works if every part is already in place. A half system doesn't partially function, it doesn't function at all. Michael Bay, he uses the mouse trap to explain it. He says, if you remove one piece, the trap doesn't sort of catch mice, it doesn't do anything. Biology is full of systems exactly like that. See, for one species to jump to another, through Darwin's slow, tiny steps, the new species would need entire biological systems to change all at once. Take the eye, for example. A simple light sensitive patch is not the same system as a camera style eye. So you can't just turn a jellyfish style eye into a human style eye with these tiny tweaks. They use completely different proteins, different nerves, different photoreceptors, different signal pathways. So a transition between them isn't a slight upgrade, it is switching to a completely different operating system. There is no halfway version that's useful. A retina without a lens is useless, a nerve without a processing center is useless. Each part only works when all the other parts already exist. And that's the point. If you need multiple coordinated changes to get to a functioning new system, micro steps can't produce it. William Paley saw this early on. He said, a watch only makes sense when all of the gears are assembled at once. No partial wa watch tells time. It wasn't assembled by accident because none of the pieces work alone. They only make sense as a whole. And Stephen Mayer explains why on the information level. DNA works like a digital code. You can tweak existing code, which is microevolution and epigenetics, which I do fully believe in, but random copying errors don't write brand new systems made of dozens of interdependent parts. Some kind of intelligence had to guide the order. So yes, species can adapt and shift and modify within their design or within their epigenetics and the modifi modifications that the DNA code allows for within that organism, but species jumping is an entirely different thing because it requires multiple biological systems changing all at once, something that step-by-step -step evolution simply can't do. So to me, this looks far less like an accident and far more like engineering.